world systems go. After more than three decades, Maynard Ferguson is blasting off to reach the masses with his hit rendition of the theme from Star Wars. This is the Maynard Ferguson Band. in before during the rehearsal and I took a look at the band. I thought I was in the wrong studio. They're all kids. It looked like a rock band. What's going on in there? Yeah, I know. Well, I, <clears throat> I tell you what really is happening nowadays is uh, uh, with the up-leveling of music education in the schools that we've got happening here in this country. The greatest thing this country's done in the last 15 years is what they've done to music education. And they've gotten it uh, now uh, with the philosophies that I just mentioned uh, previously about teaching them about the music of the past but not imposing nostalgia on the young. None of that like, uh, uh, come here, son, and listen to the great music that your dad and mom used to dance to in 1936. Boy, no kid wants to hear that. I have five children, and they have five varying musical tastes. Your music is suddenly catching on to all ages. Why is it happening today? When we say my kind of music, uh, uh, I've never been too much into nostalgia, and I'm very much a person that believes in change. And uh, that's just my personal music philosophy and what works for me and keeps me creative. So I feel that what we do is a part of today with a smattering of what I call my own vintage of the past. Maybe now the time is right for Maynard Ferguson to carry his musical message to the people. He's certainly on his way again. The big brass band just started a national tour. With the Maynard Ferguson Band, Bruce Morrow at Star Sound Studios, News Center 4.